What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier today. Today's gonna be a, a lot more of a chill live. I'm just gonna sit back and talk a little bit about what's been going on because I haven't been uploading consistently and everything. So uh, I'm just gonna play. This is gonna be really hard for me by the way because I'm gonna be playing uh, and not focusing so much on the game but more talking to you guys. Uh, so I wanna start off with like Gen 7 Leagues. Uh, it's a really big deal right now because uh, I've start. I think I've, st I've started up a few too many leagues. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, um, there was the NPL miners, which took up a bunch of my time, uh, and then there was the um, then there's the GPC. Uh, we're we're in the process of drafting right now. I should have a draft analysis video out on uh, Wednesday, I believe. Um, it's already recorded actually, uh, because my draft my draft is pretty much done. But um, I just wanted to uh, to make sure that you uh, understand that. What am I trying to say? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, I basically say in the video that it's supposed to go out on Saturday, and it comes out on Wednesday instead. So just so you guys know, I feel like he's gonna go for ice punch here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just to let you guys know that uh, that's going on. And that's been taking up a lot of my time lately. I've been making graphics for just about everybody at this point, which is kind of... Uh, it's not annoying because I, I like doing it, uh, and I've offered to do it for everybody pretty much. Uh, but at the same time, it's very time-consuming. And I've been designing logos and stuff. Like, I have a huge portfolio now of basically all my stuff. Uh, I'll try to get that on a... Um, onto a... Like, a an Imgur or something. I don't know where I put it. DeviantArt maybe. And I'll try to link it uh, in one of my videos and I'll let you guys know when that's coming. But um, yeah, pretty much that's been going on. So uh, just so you guys know, that did a ton. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what's been going on with me lately. Um, the All the graphics, all the, the drafting. Uh, we had the UPA offseason. Uh, I did a a little video on that if you guys saw that uh, I did a video about uh, my my draft I did a draft analysis and I'm not gonna be uploading any of the games ultimately so it's all for naught uh, <laughs> pretty much so that's uh, okay he's got supersonic sky all right that's fine whatever uh, I gets a crit no big deal I know what set he is now so that's good uh, he's fly so uh, yeah, let's go into this yeah, so that's been going on, all these drafts, everything, and uh, I was working on a huge project at some point. You guys are going to get the big reveal basically tomorrow, uh, if this com is coming out on Thursday, which it should be. Uh, I'm recording this on early Thursday morning, so yeah, uh, you should be getting the big reveal as to what's going on with me uh, later today, and uh, later, later tomorrow, excuse me, so that should be fun. And yeah, so the, there's just been a lot going on and I have to apologize to you guys because I haven't been uploading consistently at all. Uh, it's really saddening <laughs> that, that this has been happening. Um, I'm not focusing on the, I'm fo like slightly focusing on the game, like a little bit. Uh, he goes for a shadow ball, okay. So, does this sweep him now? <laughs> Move for you turn. Um, yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much it. So I think I'm gonna have to focus on the game now because I'm really not used to doing something like this. But uh, you guys get the gist of it. I've been really busy, so it's kind of tough. Uh, it's very very tough to to keep up with everything. I'm just gonna go for an SD here. He goes in a guard chomp. That's fine. Go for the horn leech. Hopefully he doesn't have jab. He goes for rocks. <laughs> this is gonna kill, isn't it? With a crit, it is. Is he uh, rocky helmet? Yep. No. Okay. Uh, heat ran. Do I even have a check to this? I'm going hard ninja. Hard ninja, as he goes for the mash. Yeah, we're fine. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna be ch trying to upload a little bit more consistently now, for sure. It's gonna be tough, um, especially with everything going on. But uh, I'm gonna try to keep at it. See if we can pull through. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to run a channel, you know. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you uh, miss my content. I miss my own content, so. <laughs> Be perfectly honest with you. In comes Jirachi. This is gonna take a nice hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can save this. Just go here in. As he's going to go for the U-turn. Yep. All right. Well, we know his uh, Landorus is offensive. Uh, Earthquake's damage is reduced right now. So do I die? I might not die. I'm gonna go for Plume. 
No, I do die. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, I need to go into. Uh, I wish I was sub on Bulu right now. I need to go into Metagross. We need to go for the. Uh, I think Meteor Mash here. On the switch to Jirachi. Okay, that's good. Awesome. We get a crit. No attack raise. We don't see an item. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Meteor Mash. He, he's probably scarfed, I would assume. So this is the Blunder team, actually, if you guys don't know. Uh, Blunder did a live with this team the other day, and uh, we actually broke through well. So yeah, um, it's a pretty cool team. I like it, personally. In comes this threat. Um, did I go Hard Ninja? Nah, he's going for T-Bolt. Yeah, he's definitely going for T-Bolt. No, he goes for Shadow Ball, even though I have a good Ninja. Okay. Alright, so this is what I need to do. I need to double into Bulu right now. On his uh, switch out into Finny. No, he goes for T-Bolt. Okay, so he's uh, he's willing to sack his Raikou. Um, Alright, I'm going to go for Pump. Knock it out. And Finny just comes in and finishes me off at this point. If it has Fairy coverage, of course. If it's only attacking move is... Uh, oh my god, that did so much. I should have done that way earlier. Okay, lesson learned. Yeah, so... Um, what was I saying again? Yeah, this is the Blunder team. Uh, he did a live with it the other day. It's a really good team. Uh, I didn't execute that properly, but you guys will see in this game. I'm going to focus this game. Let's do it. Let's go. Lando, lead against Rotom. That's fine. That's an easy uh, U-turn for me. Sucks I don't have a ground type, <laughs> but we are going to get some initiative out of here. Uh, going to Bulu on his Volt Switch. No, he decides to Hydro Pump. Awesome. And I do not see a switch in to a Horn Leech at all on his team. I see the Marowak, that's clearly there, but other than that, like, there is, there is nothing that wants to take this right now. And this is going to get weakened very, very fast. Uh, he is probably... I'm going to go into Heat Ren. I think we speed tie with this. I, I probably want to fix that. Blunders had 206, but I think it should have 208. Because it's faster than Marowak, then. As he goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. I'm going to go for my own Rocks. He has Bone Ring, he has Bone Ring. Yep, he has it. Alright, that's fine. Um, I think, uh, I think Lando. And do we click a U-turn again? Uh, I'm gonna click EQ. No, I think U-turn is just a better play, because he has a Lando, he has a, a Lottie, and a Rotom. All of which are valid switch-ins right now. He's gonna go into Rotom. Yep, here's the U-turn. Beautiful. I'm going to Bulu. And uh, we no longer have our grassy terrain up, but his Marowak also takes a bunch of damage when it comes in. I'm going to go into Finny, actually. Because he's not going to want to lose this, probably. Uh, maybe. No, I'm going to leech. He's going to trick me a Choice Scarf. Uh, no. It fails because we... Oh, nice. Because of the, the uh, Fighting MZ. Sweet. All right, cool. So now he knows that I have a Z-Crystal, or no item, which is less than likely. In comes Marowak. Not too concerned. As long as I'm not giving this thing... Um, Recovery with grassy terrain every time it comes in. It's, it's pretty much gonna lose to, to top of Bulu at this point Basically and what does it go for it goes for shadow bone that does a ton and I don't have anything for this on this set I think I have to go hard Greninja as as dumb as that sounds um, No, I'm just gonna madness I'm just gonna madness because then the next time this thing comes in it loses to uh, To horn leech There's the next shadow bone. That's fine um, his switch-ins to what? To Greninja do not exist? I think his switch-ins to Greninja do not exist. Let's go into Ninja and let's hope we can hit a pump for once in our lives. So that, that, that beginning of the episode was probably really boring for you guys. I'm, I'm really sorry, just like talking about my life and stuff. Or maybe you enjoyed it. Let me know. Let me know what you thought of, uh, of just me sitting back and, and talking about what's going on with me. If you guys want to know that kind of stuff, definitely let me know. But this, uh, this T-Tar is going straight down. And then I think he has to go into his, um, into his Lottie after, knowing that I'm locked in and I'm Specs. Either that or he has a Scarf Lando and he'll go into it. But, uh, Scarf Lando, I don't believe can beat Bulu, so. In comes Latios, that's a free switch into Metagross, if I've ever seen one. He has to click, like, he has to click either T-Bolt or... Yeah, there's T-Bolt. Okay. That's not a two-hit KO, though. That's fantastic. And we will just go straight for the Ice Punch. Not even thinking about it. He might sack his Marowak at this point, because it's pretty much dead. 
There is Landorus, fantastic. We're gonna get a T-Punch off on that. We don't even get the uh, the Intimidate drop thanks to Clear Body. And down goes Lando. He's probably Scarfed as well. Um, I'm thinking that the Latias is Scarfed. Uh, he might be dual Scarfers. Uh, we know he was Scarfed, um, more than likely Scarfed Rotom. Uh, I'm gonna go for Mash here, no reason not to. He's gonna Mega Evolve, Trace my Tough Claws, that's fine. There comes the Shadow Ball, that's okay. We'll go into Lando, we do outspeed, we get to go for a U-turn. And uh, I think Lando cleans. Lando should clean, in theory. Let's see what he wants to go for. I think he has to switch out into Marowak here. No, he stays in and lets his Zam die, fantastic. And uh, now I think we go into Gren. Bait out the Thunderbolt, then go back into Landorus, and click U-turn again. There's the Latios. I'm actually going to go Bulu, because I don't lose anything. He has to go for a move other than... Um, if he clicks a Dragon move or an Electric move, then Bulu pretty much comes in for free. And uh, and I get off a Horn Leech, and I kill his Marowak. Let's see what he does. He does just go for the T-Bolt. That's going to do nothing. Horn Leech is going to be able to knock out uh, his incoming Marowak. Let's see if he's choice. If he's not choice, then he just loses to, uh, to Ninja. He does seem to be choice. He's going to let me knock out his Marowak. And in comes his Latios on a very powerful Horn Leech. Basically banded because of grassy terrain. And uh, if he can't knock me out with anything that I win... Either way, he has to lock himself into a Psychic move. Because it's the only thing that hits the majority of, of my team. But it still doesn't hit Greninja. Either that or he has to play off of a, a Para. Goes for Shadow Ball. That does nothing. Horn Leech is going to heal me up to the point where I can take another one. And he doesn't get the the uh, grassy terrain health back either, so he's going to forfeit. There goes that. But yeah, guys, I'm super hyped uh, about the announcement that's coming tomorrow. Um, definitely be looking out for that. I'm going to make a video about it as well uh, because I have uh, somebody that I have to shout out. So uh, definitely be looking out for that. I know I'm not making it seem like a huge deal, but it actually is a pretty big deal. So definitely, definitely look out for that. Uh, I'm feeling Zard Y. And not Zard X for some reason. So I'm gonna lead off with Lando. Let's see what he does. Either way, Lando is such a like Scarf Lando is such a safe lead, guys. Like even in even in um, in X and Y, like uh, well, not X and Y, but uh, Oris. Like this thing was an, a huge threat, like enormous threat. Uh, I'm going into Heat Ren just in case he's uh, if he's X, I lowered his attack. If he's Y, then I can take any hit. He is Y, so he's probably going to have a Fire Blast. Yep, there's the Flash Fire Boost. Fantastic. Uh, we are just going to go for Stealth Rocks here. He's going to Fire Blast me again. Okay, not sure why. Um, I mean, yes, you can have Focus Blast, but I'm not too concerned. I am Spadef. After all, I can take one. And you're going to take a huge Lava Plume right there. And uh, I'm not switching out into Landorus, I don't think. No, I'm going to go for another Plume. Goes for another Fire Blast. Yep, as predicted. And uh, now we are going to go into Landorus on his Focus Blast. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Roost. Okay, fantastic. Let's go for the U-Turn. I uh, can't see him staying in because we U-Turned turn one, I believe. Did we? Um, Landorus, come back. No, I hard switched. Okay, so he's going to stay in. Uh, I'm going to go out into Finny because he can't Solar Beam me anymore. I'm going to get up our Misty Terrain. He's going to go for Focus Blast. It's going to fail. And uh, we are going to go for a Nature's Madness on a switch out into Tapu Fini, which is fantastic. As we are going to lower that thing's health tremendously. I'm going to go for a Taunt. He is a uh, fast defog. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to go for another Nature's Madness because it does take off half from whatever wants to come in. It's going to be Tapu Coco, which I don't really have a switch into. Um, I don't feel like he's going to go for an electric move, though. So I'm going to go for another Madness. Yep, he is going to U-turn. Fantastic. Something else is losing half its health. So that's cool. And it's going to be Zard Y. So now we have to play around a Solar Beam. Let's go into Heat Ren. As he goes for the Roost first. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for Rocks. He does go for the Focus Blast to prevent me from getting up Rocks anymore. That's smart. Uh, I'm going to go into Lando now. And uh, I'm going to go for another U-Turn because now he knows I'm Scarfed. Turn 1 I switched out directly. I didn't... Uh, I didn't go for a U-turn, which I probably should have, because then he wouldn't have stayed in the last time I was in with Lando. So actually going for a U-turn the last time I did it was a bad play. Now you might think I'm just going to Stone Edge, so. 
Yeah, cool, awesome. So we get the uh, switch initiative out into, out into what? <laughs> he runs dead, Metagross. All right, so Hammer Arm is gonna do a lot to anything regardless, um, but it lowers my speed in the process. That's the only problem I have. I'm still gonna go for it though. And it is not gonna be able to knock out Ferrothorn thanks to his Choppleberry. Let's see what he's got for me, Leech Seed? There's the Leech Seed, okay. All right, so the next hammer arm would be able to do it because that one did 34. I doubt he's going to stay in here. So I'm going to pull out a switch into Tapu Fini. And he's going to go for a switch into Zardwai. Fair enough. All right. Um, I don't really have a play, right? I'm just going to go for the Madness. He's going to go for Fire Blast. Does he even have Solar Beam? Like, he hasn't even shown it yet. We missed the Nature's Madness, unfortunately. I'm gonna go for another one. He's gonna miss another Fire Blast. Great. And uh, we are just gonna keep going for Madness. He goes for Roost. I don't care. I'm weakening you. Your son's gonna go away in a turn. And uh, he finally reveals the Solar Beam, but that's not gonna kill now. And uh, we are gonna leave this thing at 23%. He can no longer Solar Beam. He has to Fire Blast. Uh, I'm gonna go into Ninja here. So that's gonna put a lot of pressure on him. And his, uh, his Ferrothorn is weakened, I believe. Actually, hold on a second. Quick editing right here. I'm gonna turn this on <laughs> so that I can see how much his Ferrothorn is at. It's at 61%. Let's go for the Hydro Pump. Let's see how much it does. He's still got his Finny alive too. It's a 57 though. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a huge amount. There we go. Uh, 26% actually. Not as much as I wanted to. Uh, when this thing is in its actual good form, that's when it does a lot. But um, we will switch out into Bulu here. I have no reason to stay in. <laughs> see this uh, this quick switch. Uh, what's he gonna go into? Zard? I'm gonna go for Zen Headbutt. Predicting Zard. It's gonna do a lot. It's gonna do a good amount. And he's down to three Fire Blasts, I believe. He's actually gonna stay in with his Finny. Gonna go for Nature's Madness. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Go for Horn Leech here. Get back some of our health. Knock out this Finny. Which, realistically, was the only thing standing in my way of sweeping with Greninja. With, uh, with Dark Pulse or Hydro Pump. Doesn't really matter. In comes Excadrill. He's outside of the sand. Um, he's going to go for Iron Head regardless. So I'm going to go into Metagross. As he does go for the Iron Head, that's going to do very little. And he takes a Life Orb round, which is fantastic. I really want a Zen Headbutt here predicting the Zard, but I don't think it's worth it. Actually, it is worth it. Let's go. Okay, he goes into Ferrothorn on my Zen. So I'm going to take some uh, Iron Barbs, but he is, uh, he is in Hammer Arm range. We're going to go for it here. As he decides to switch out into his Zard, he takes a huge amount, actually 35% from that. I'm gonna sack off Finny here as he goes for the Roost, okay. If I Zen headbutted there, he was dead, but all right. Uh, actually, why did I switch? I'm Okay, yeah, because I was slower, right? <laughs> that's why. He's gonna go for the Fire Blast, that's fine. I'm gonna go out into Lando now, and this time I'm gonna click Stone Edge. Like, he can switch, that's fine. He's down to two Fire Blasts at this point. He is gonna go Ferrothorn, that's okay. Uh, we are going to go into Tapu Bulu here, because what Bulu does for me is uh, prevents me from uh, giving him extra recovery with Leech Seed. He's actually going to pull a double back in his Zard Y. Great play, great play, uh, except now his son is gone, so he can't go for a, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to go for Hydro Pump here. Uh, Ferrothorn should be two hit KO'd, because it specs Hydro Pump. It's like... Almost as strong as Keldeo's, I guess you could say. In comes Titar. This is going to take a huge hit. Yep, that's two hit KO'd. And we will go for another one and knock it out. And now we're Battle Bond. So this is awesome. And uh, Grassy Terrain was mitigating, mitigating the Sandstorm. That's why I love Greninja plus Bulu, honestly, is because of that combination right there. Uh, we are just going to go straight into Lando. Not even thinking about it. And uh, I think he's down to one Fire Blast on his uh, Charizard. It's going to go for Iron Head. It's going to do a lot. Uh, but it's, I, I'm not in range of another one, right? No, I'm not. Okay. So we're going to go for Quake. Um, he is going to go back into his Zard. I could have easily Stone Edge there, but it's okay. Uh, this is his last Fire Blast. So after that, he cannot touch Bulu. Which I think wins at this point. Other than Drill. Drill is the only thing standing in my way. Uh, I'm going to go Sack this. Let's see what he does. If he actually goes for a Roost here... <laughs> Okay, he's gonna, well, he's slower than me, so it doesn't matter. He's gonna focus blast. And uh, I'm gonna go for another Quake. Actually, I'm gonna go into Metagross. Or Bulu. Bulu. 
Definitely Bulu. Here we go. He's gonna go. Okay, he fire blasts on that turn. Great play. Great play. But now his fire blasts are gone. So we're gonna go into Metagross. And we're faster than everything except for his uh, Coco, but Greninja's faster than Coco, and so is Landorus. I'm gonna go for the Zen Headbutt here. He is gonna switch out into his Ferrothorn. That is fine. And we are gonna go for the Hammer Arm on this turn. No reason not to. His Coco is already pretty weakened. We do miss, unfortunately. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. That is gonna limit my switch ins. Uh, I got one more switch in with Landorus. Uh, I'm gonna keep going for another Hammer Arm here as he brings in his Coco. That's cool. Uh, we are going to weaken this, and uh, I don't think he knows the rest of my moveset, so I could very easily have um, Bullet Punch, and I might go for it here. So I do want to keep Metagross, though, because it does win. So uh, I think Ferrothorn dies to a Hydro Pump at this point. I'm going to sack Lando. Sack Lando. He goes for a U-turn. That is going to knock me out, obviously. And he's going to go back into his Zard Y. Not a problem. I can go into Metagross here. And we will just go for the... Uh, I'm going to go for an Ice Punch. Because it also hits the uh, the Ferrothorn on the Switch. That's going to be my play. As he does go into Excadrill, actually. Which is outsped right now. So we're going to go for another Ice Punch. There we go. Knock it out. In comes Tapu Koko. But I think I win as long as I'm not in the sun. Actually, I think Dark Pulse might be able to finish it off. If I get one flinch on his Zard... How long is his sun up for? Two more turns? Hmm. All right, let's go for Mash. He's going to go for T-Bolt. That's fine. I'm going to go Ninja. And uh, I think our only play is to... Well, how much do we do to Ferrothorn? Hold on. Ferrothorn from Greninja. Ash Greninja. With 252. Choice Specs. Choice Specs. Hydro Pump in the sun yeah not enough not enough all right we'll go for pulse it's gonna knock out coco that i'm not worried about it's a zard that i'm worried about i need to flinch it once let's see do we get the flinch we do not and solar beam is gonna finish this off so great game to my opponent honestly he played a great game he was at 1644 wow all right let's get one more and uh yeah <laughs> not working out too great with this team honestly uh can i switch back to this, yeah, this looks better. There we go. Might see a little white line at the bottom. Ignore that. That's from switching around from uh, from layout to layout. Guys, uh, also let me know which uh, which layout you prefer. If like the plain showdown layout with my background here, uh, if you like this, or if you like that dark one that we just had up. Okay, he loses to earthquake spam. So that's great. Um, very threatening team very very threatening team uh i'm gonna lead off with lando again because <laughs> there's just there's just no reason not to right realistically like i get an attack drop on something if he leads with a physical attacker other than metagross and uh i get a I get a u-turn off on anything else it's gonna le lead off with Feramosa. that's fantastic uh, we are just gonna go for the u-turn here no reason not to okay he's scarfed great good to know and uh, Heatran gets a free switch in because he is scarfed. And I think we get up our rocks and he has no way to get rid of them. So let's go for stealth rocks. As he is going to bring in his Greninja, that is fine. Uh, we will switch in our Tapu Fini. And his rapid spinner is Feramosa, so I doubt it has it. If it does, it's like a free switch into anything on my team at that point. And uh, these are up for the game, so this is good. He is going to go for the U-turn, that is okay. He's going to bring in Tapu Lele. Um, the switch into Metagross or Heatran is really, really obvious, so I'm going to go for Nature's Madness, as no, he just clicked Psychic. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now I'm going to go Metagross, and I'm going to go for an Ice Punch on the following turn. As he is going to go for the Moon Blast, so he's revealing that he's not choice, which is fantastic. I'm going to go for Ice Punch, try to catch the Lando. If it comes in, then it dies. It does come in, fantastic. Nobody runs Ice Punch anymore, so this thing should be dead beautiful goodbye it was rocky helmet as well so that's great to know he is going to bring in his feramosa i am going to go hard into top of bulu if he goes for a u-turn then he goes for a u-turn there's nothing i can do about that as he is going to go for the u-turn okay that's fine uh it wouldn't have killed metagross i would have gotten another kill there but that's okay he's going to bring in his, in his lele and uh, i'm going to go heat ran on this now knowing that it's not choiced 
I don't have to worry about Focus Blast too much. He's going to go for Hidden Power Fire and give me the raise. Fantastic. Which means he's probably not... Um, He's probably not Focus Blast. I'm going to go for Plume. It's going to hit something pretty hard, no matter what it is. As he's going to go for Psy Shock, do very little to us. And Plume is going to be able to easily knock that thing out. And now it comes down to, can Specs Greninja sweep? I still need to get rid of the Kyurem. He's going to bring in his own Greninja. Okay. I'm going to go for Plume, predicting the U-turn. As no, he goes for Hydro Pump. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will go into Bulu, and we are going to click Horn Leech, because I expect him to be choiced as well. Yep, he is. He brings in Metagross. Fantastic. This is going to take a nice hit, and then we will switch out into our Greninja. Let's see what he does. He goes for the Meteor Mash. That is going to do 59%, uh, but I do not see a Dark Pulse switch in anymore, and we are getting some nice grassy terrain recovery. There's the Dark Pulse onto the Ninja. And I expect a U-turn here, so we are going into Finny. And we know that he's Scarfed Feromosa, so that's good. He goes for the Dark Pulse, that's actually going to do a very good amount. Uh, and now I think I have to switch out into Bulu. Yeah, Bulu's my play. I think we live. I'm pretty sure we live too. Uh, there is... The wow, he crits us. Great. Good stuff. Good stuff right there. And that did 63, so I don't think we would have taken it anyway, but uh, it's still pretty annoying. Um, I'm going to go for the Choice Specs Hydro Pump here. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. It's actually going to knock us out, so that's another loss. I'm not ending it off on the loss. We're going to get one more. That's really annoying, that crit. I don't think it made a difference because of the amount of damage that I had. <laughs> Scarf Feromosa, yes. With Ice Beam, fantastic. All right. Um... Another Kirin Black, which we didn't even get to see last game because we didn't make it to it, but... Everybody knows this team, that's the problem. So, let's play weird. Let's play really weird. Let's lead off with Heatran. He's gonna lead off with Greninja, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for Tiffany, because it's always the switch. As he goes probably for U-turn. No, he goes for Spikes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Moon Blast here. Actually, Nature's Madness is better. I'm gonna go for Extra Sensory, turn himself into a Psychic type for whatever reason. And uh, I'm gonna go for Defog as let's see what he does uh he goes for a spike awesome so we're gonna get rid of all these spikes goodbye and we're gonna go for moonblast as he goes for another spike and we are gonna knock out the greninja in comes kirim fusion bolt incoming landorus is my play he's not going for ice beam there's no way he's going for ice beam right now goes for fusion bolt fantastic all right we get the attack drop let's go for a u-turn he seems to be choiced that's good to know we are going to get a nice U-turn off onto Kartana, and uh, I think Heatran is my play, and what I'm going to do is actually double back into Landorus on what I expect to be an all-out pummeling, and uh, that way we can get off a another U-turn on the following turn. He actually decides to switch back out into his Kirim, which again I think is Scarfed, so I'm going to head out into Heatran here, because I didn't make that play before, as he goes for a another Fusion Bolt onto my heat ran but he has minus one attack so that did nothing uh he has no uh, stealth rock removal let's go for okay so he's uh sub-zero slammer which also doesn't kill okay and uh, we get off a nice stealth rock right there good to know that you're sub-zero slammer my friend i'm gonna go into lando now on his fusion bolt fantastic let's go for a u-turn into tapu finny no now knowing that he's not scarfed and he is going to go for another Fusion Bolt. Good play, except that only does 30%. And we are going to go for a Moon Blast right here as he goes for another Bolt. And uh, I have no reason to keep this, so I'm actually just going to click Moon Blast again. And he might click Ice Beam, so yep, there we go. Beautiful. Goodbye, Kirim. And uh, now he's stuck with rocks up on his side, so this is actually quite good. Uh, also, Lando has taken zero damage. <laughs> Somehow, in, fr in the face of a Kirim Black... I have taken no damage with my Landorus, so that is fantastic. Um, I feel a Steel move is coming. I'm going to go into Metagross here. Let's hope it's a Grass or a Steel move. He goes for the Leaf Blade. Ooh, awesome. Let's go for the Ice Punch on his Landorus. Everybody brings in their Landorus on Metagross, forgetting that it's clear body, man. All right, we're going to knock this thing out. Beautiful. We take the Rocky Helmet. That's cool. In comes Cartana. Um, I'm expecting a Fighting move. I'm going to go into Landorus, 
Either way, I get an attack drop, so this is fine. He goes for the Sacred Sword. Great. And now we get to spam Earthquake. As his Metagross comes out on my EQ. Fantastic. That's dead. In comes Flinchmaster 5000. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Tapu Bulu first. As weird as this seems of a play, I want my Grassy Terrain up. As he goes for the Iron Head, that's fine. Now what I can do is I can switch into Heat Ran, and the Iron Head is going to be mitigated by the Grassy Terrain. So now I can spam Lava Plume. As long as he doesn't flinch me four times in a row, we should be fine. Let's keep going for it. As we do get the plume off, that's fantastic. And we do get a burn as well, so now his Iron Head is going to do even less. Any forfeits? Awesome, okay. We didn't get enough wins, though, so I'm going to do one more. One more, guys. I promise this is the last one. All right, we got a Serena. We got a, uh, a Thunderous. Uh, Thunderous. Tornadus, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I still like my matchup in this game. Let's... Uh, what do I lead with here? I'm gonna lead off with Greninja. As he leads off with his, uh, with his Torn. Okay. Are you Scarf? What are you? He's going for a U-turn. Okay, he's not Scarf. Good. He's probably gonna go for a U-turn of his own. Going into Finny. As he goes for U-turn. Yep. Beautiful. So Finny's still at full. So is Tornadus. So now the lead matchup is in his favor. He goes into Serena. Why am I not concerned with this? I'm gonna go for Nature's Madness. Let's see what he goes for. He might just go for a U-turn. Knowing that I might not want to stay in. He might go for a high jump kick as well, if he has it. As we are faster, that's good information. He is going to go for the drop kick. That's going to do 40. And uh, knowing that this is faster, that means Heat Ran is faster. As he decides to double out into Metagross. Probably has Earthquake. Do not want to stay in. I am going hard into Bulu on the predicted Earthquake or Fighting move, whatever he has. As he does go for the Quake, that is going to do no damage to us. And now we can go into Landorus on his Meteor Mash. And then just U-turn out. As that's going to do a ton. Wow. Uh, I am just going to U-turn here, though. As he is going to stay in. All right. Um, I think my play here is definitely Heat Ran. As he goes for another Mash. And now I'm going to predict him to stay in and go for a Plume. Uh, not stay in, but rather go for another Meteor Mash predicting my Landorus. Or Ice Punch, or whatever he has. Um, let's see. He does switch out. That's awesome. Into High Dragon. Which I don't believe can take me out with anything unless it is Earth Power. Let's go for Stealth Rocks. I don't see why it would be Earthquake and Earth Power. Let's see. We are going to get up our rocks. That would, that, that would be awesome, honestly. He's going to go for Deep Pulse. That's going to do nothing to our Spit F Heat Ran. And he is burned because of Lava Plume now. So, uh, I'm going to prevent him from getting rid of the rocks, I think. How would I do that? I'm going to go for Plume. See what he does. Hopefully he goes Serena. <laughs> Predicting my switch out into like, I don't know, Bulu. No, he just stays in. Takes another plume. Fantastic. And uh, now I'm going to go into Finny. Because I don't lose anything by going to Finny. As he does go into Manaphy, which is great. Uh, I'm going to go for a... Actually, this could be bad. This could be very, very bad. I'm going to go for the Taunt. That way if he's Z Rain Dance... The reason I did that, guys, was because if he's Z Rain Dance then I'm okay. Then I'm in a good position because then he can't tail blow. So I'm alright. I'm going to go into Metagross on this thing. Uh, I can't really do too much damage to me, especially in Misty Terrain. It can't burn me. He's going to pull a switch out into his own Metagross. Okay. Uh, now, he has Earthquake. I do not. So I'm going to go into Lando. Let's see what he does. Uh, his Eye Dragon's burned and is coming in on rocks. His uh, Torn is the only switch in now. Okay, he's going to go into High Dragon. This thing Scarfed is faster than me, so I'm going to switch out into Finny, as he's going to go for the Draco Meteor, fantastic, I think he is Scarfed, and we are going to go for the Moonblast right here, as he goes for another Draco Meteor, he's probably going to want to go out into Serena now to spin away the rocks, because they're getting really annoying to him, as no, he's going to go out back out into Manaphy, okay, I'm going to taunt again, as he goes for the Rain Dance, that's fine, as long as you can't go for Tail Glow, that's okay with me. Um... So it's not Z Rain Dance, right? Let's go for Madness. Is he Calm Mind? He's going to switch out into Torn. This is going to take 20, uh, well, 37.5, excuse me. And uh, now we can go for, oh, Hurricane. That makes sense. I'm going into Heat Ran on the Hurricane. 
There it is. Does 16. No confusion either. Fantastic. And we're going to go for the plume. Obviously, he'll beat me before I beat him because he's in the rain. And he's probably AV as well. Uh, but if I weaken this thing to a certain point, then I'm looking very good. He confuses me. We do hit ourselves in confusion despite the nerf. And now I go into ninja. And nothing wants to take a dark pulse anymore. So let's go for pulse. As he goes into Serena, this is going to die. This is easily going to die to two. So he might not want to let me get battle bond, but he's going to have to. There we go. So we are now Specs, Battlebound, Greninja. I'm not staying in on a play rough. I'm going to go hard into Metagross. There's no way he doesn't go for play rough here. He goes for Swords Dance. <laughs> wow, okay. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Um, there's no way he doesn't go for a Ghost move, right? Uh, I think either way... I'm going to go into Gren. Because he has to go for... Okay, he goes for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go for a U-turn now. And then I'm going to go into Finny to sack it. I'm going to win with Greninja. I've decided already that I'm winning with Greninja. But for that to happen, I need to get rid of this thing. And the only way I can do that is by U-turning here. Into my Finny, sacking it, going into Metagross, going for Meteor Mash, and taking it from there. So... Uh, also, if the Torn is gone, I can sweep with uh, Landorus's Earthquake for the last remaining three Mons. We are going to break the Disguise with a U-turn. Let's see uh, him kill our... Okay. Kill our Landorus, I guess. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go into Metagross now. We're just going to go for the Meteor Mash. If he is Shadow Sneak, he might be able to take me out here. Nope, it's not enough. Okay, cool, and we connect. Awesome. So down goes that. Um, in comes this guy, which is definitely going for a heat wave here. I'm going to conserve my Metagross. No reason to let it go down here. Going to go into Finny. He's going to go for the U-turn, actually. All right. Uh, in comes his Metagross. Huh. So he was just doing that to get Regenerator, huh? All right. We're going to go on to our own Metagross here as he goes for a Thunder Punch. That is not going to kill. And we have a chance to get off some big damage here with a Hammer Arm if we win the Speed Tie, which we do not. Goes for another T-Punch. Gonna go out into Greninja. Gonna go for the Dark Pulse. Nothing on his team takes it. Um, Torn might be able to take one, but not two. So this is dead. I don't even know if Torn can take one, honestly. Like, Specs, Greninja, Dark Pulse. Let's find out. Dark Pulse versus Tornadus. Uh, Tornadus Therian, Assault Vest. Yeah, Pulse kills after rocks. Pulse also kills Manaphy, fun fact. Um... Finny is always my play. As he goes for a Hurricane, he's probably just going to U-turn here, which is fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Nature's Madness. I'm letting this thing gain recovery, but realistically, his uh, Metagross cannot kill this. So, I just need to weaken it. And then we are going to sack off Tapu Bulu to his... He's going to go for a T-Punch. Oh, no, he goes for Meteor Mash. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Ninja comes in, goes for a Dark Pulse at 2. It KOs the... Uh, the torn easily like look at this this yeah that's an oko <laughs> yeah so down goes torn and that is going to be another win so uh yeah we uh we pulled it out guys uh we got a pretty good episode it's kind of long but uh, again let me know everything that i asked you guys in this episode one if you like the rambling at the beginning even though i wasn't too focused on it i'm still getting used to that uh also let me know what you think of the backgrounds if you prefer this one or if you prefer this one uh that came up on your screen uh, I like both, honestly. I like this one a little bit better because I can actually see uh, every percentage on every mon, uh, whereas like regular sh showdown is currently messed up and you can't see everything. It might just be me, but I've heard of a couple of other people having the same problem. So, yeah, that's it. So let me know those two things: what you thought about the uh, the rambling, the uh, my life story at the beginning, and the layout. And that's gonna be it, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.